Women across different strata have been challenged to seek grants in order to expand their businesses. A group of women under the ages of Progressive Young Women Forum gave the advice recently. I'm joined now by Dr. Jamila Ibrahim, who is president of Progressive Young Women Forum, a mentorship academy by Stella Okotete. Thank you for joining us on the news, Dr. Jamila. Uh, it, it sounds easy to ask a woman to seek grant. I'm wondering where they're expected to get this from. Please come again. I'm asking how easily accessible grants are for women doing small businesses. Well, um, thank you very much, Mr. Nifemi, for the question. The access, access to the grants for small businesses, well, we know that it is usually difficult, especially for people living in, um, for marginalized groups especially, and people who are not um, educated to access grants, and that further widens the, the inequality gaps and, of course, uh, the same, further disenfranchises um, people, women especially, from starting businesses or being successful at running businesses. So it is in light of this, we actually recognize this gap and challenge and then um, the Progressive Women Academy, which is an affiliate, it's affiliated to the Progressive Young Women Forum that I, am, I serve as president of the firm. And the Progressive Women Academy was founded by Honorable Stella Okotete. And it was in a bid to address these gaps of you know, building capacities of women to be able to access grants. And in the process, we decided that um, we will put out, we will uh, set up, well, the access to grants, access to grants we have we, we identified as a difficulty for women. And in light of that, we decided to build capacities and build an ecosystem that will provide support for women-owned businesses. And it is in light of that that we have put out a call for grant um, proposals to help women-owned businesses to um, access grants. And we're working, we're working in collaboration with government agencies and the private sector, such as um, the government agencies such as Bank of Industry, which is Nigeria's prim, uh, premier uh, development um, uh, in institution that provides, you know, access and improves, uh, 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 that, that provides support to small businesses. Um, oh, is, I, and then of I get it, Dr. Jamila. I, I, I talk to us about how much help, you know, these micro and small businesses are bringing to young women across the country, particularly at the time where women are complaining about being marginalized and how do you think they can begin to take advantage of these grants? At a time when women are beginning to think that they're marginalized, this platform has actually um, been like, a, it's, it's now a beacon of hope for marginalized women. And it will interest you to note that while going through the grant proposals, we realized that um, there's a need to actually um, open up an opportunity, an avenue for these women to register their businesses for free, like it was done in the previous administration through the office of the former vice president. There were free corporate affairs commission, FCAC registrations for small businesses. So we realized that um, as a matter of fact, we, the business, first of all, needs to have an identity. So we've, the bulk of the entries that we got, um, we found out that some of these businesses are not registered. And this is where you know, it begins. So we're, we're, we've created an ecosystem for incubating businesses. So for most of the businesses we have now, we have, we, we, uh, the most of the entries that we've received now, we start from registration of businesses, and then we build their capacities. We teach them how to design business proposals, even though some of them actually have wonderful business proposals from what we've seen. And we'll also deepen the, the interaction tomorrow at our fireside chat for, uh, um, for the grants uh, for small and, mid small and um, micro uh, businesses. So in, in the process of um, you know, engaging at the fireside chat, we will elaborate more to our uh, beneficiaries on, right. 
uh, how right. to access the grant. And uh, of course, um, I'd like to also state that um, there's a criteria for uh, accessing, there's an, an important criteria for actually accessing the grants for those who have started uh, the process. They, it's important that um, they go to the Android app or the iOS stores to download the Progressive Women Academy uh, ap application. Um, the, and then, of course, take some courses because that also is part of, um, you know, it's one of some of the, it's, uh, it's a criteria. Taking courses on the PWA platform serves as a criteria for accessing such grants. I'm sure that we'll have to host you again to follow up with the progress with these grants and how much help it's bringing to young women across the country. Dr. Jamila Ibrahim is President, Progressive Young Women Forum. Thank you for the work you're doing.